Hi guys, this is our help video for our color and texture variation in Scatter. Uh, if you've used our tools before, uh, this one's going to be to you. It's uh, the same in Proxi and Cyclone and Disperse. Uh, it's a good way to get a quick variation out of your texture colors. Um, so I've set up this scene and I have a scatter in the background and um, just sort of some simple background trees. Um, they all look sort of the same. I just want to try and get a little closer to my plate, um, get a little more variation out of this. So um, I'm going to just right now select a little region and I'm going to click on use. Uh, I'm going to use 12 different variations. Uh, I can raise this up, lower this down. Uh, we have our hue shift, which in this case, because it's trees, um, even if I do a quick one, hue shift is going to give us a, a massive difference in the, in the color shift itself. Um, so if I render it, slide this out of the way. So you're going to see there's yeah a pretty good variation. That's going to be more than I ever want in this. Um, but it's giving me some good colors. So I... It, I've got an idea of where I want to go with this. Uh, so let's just turn our saturation down to maybe about eight. Um, sorry, our hue shift about to eight or 10. Uh, I'm gonna go with a little saturation, probably up around 14 and a little brightness, maybe of two and some contrast. And let's just do this area again. And as it's building up instances, it's just a quick way. So, um, you know, you're, you don't have to come up with a lot of different texture variations. It's just built into our tools. It's going to go do that at render time. Uh, once you're sort of set, like each time I'm making adjustments, it's actually changing the array of textures that it has. But once you're set on this, um, you shouldn't have, it won't recalculate this. So if you need to render a frame out of an animation, you know, you're not going to get different trees, colors dancing around. Once you're set with this, it sort of puts it in an array and it sort of knows what it needs to do. Okay, so I've obviously gone a little too low. I mean, I can see a little difference in the colors, but not as much. So I'm going to bring up hue shift just a little more and possibly bring up saturation quite a bit more and a tiny bit more of brightness. So let's give this one a go. All right, so that's not bad. Uh, I'm getting, you know, some good changes out of this. Um, I think I could probably just go down a little more in the saturation, up a tiny bit more in the hue shift. And um, we'll just do sort of render this last one out and we'll just sort of take a look at it. Okay, so we've finished rendering this out now. So you can see there's a good variation in here now. There's, you know, a little bit of difference. It could go into the back. Um, I think at the next point, I'd probably go back to the original tree and I would just make the leaves from the original textures is a little darker um, and that would all blend in. Now, one last thing to keep to re one to remember and to use is if out of this variation, you happen to get one of these textures, one of the 12 that's too bright or, you know, it just doesn't look right, hit your seed button. It'll go and rebuild all those and give you 12 different variations. So it's another quick fix. And then the last thing is, is we have material and name filtering. So I believe on this tree, probably in here. Let's just actually take a look at the material editor and we'll see the tree. Sorry, let me just go up. No, oh, that's a single one. Okay, so I have a bark and I have a leaf color. So if I want to come in here and I just say bark and name that, so at least have some naming convention to go off of it. And then I go back up. If I want to exclude that, I can go into here, come in here, put bark, and add this. Now, right now, it's including in the color correct only textures that are named bark or have some sort of bark in the name. Now, if I exclude it, now it's excluding all those. So it's going to color do add color correct to all my leaves, but not my bark. Um, and so that sort of you can filter down name filtering and stuff. That's it. Thanks a lot.